Hey fellow Lyricorns, I'm Clipper Summy, the pop song professor, and welcome to my channel where we explain, create, and sometimes write song lyrics. And today I'm going to tell you guys how to make your lyrics better in five minutes or fewer. To make this work, go ahead and pull out a song that you have written and get ready to take some notes. I'm still waiting. All right, if you haven't pulled it out by now, it's too late. I'm just kidding, you can pause the video. So first off, let's talk about the problem that we are going to solve. Failing to connect with your audience emotionally by being too cliche. This is a huge problem because if you rely on cliches too much, your fans are never gonna get to know the real you and they're never going to connect deeply and emotionally with you. They're just gonna connect with these trite sayings and phrases they've heard a thousand times. And the thing about that is if you don't connect emotionally with your fans, you will never ever create super fans. When I say super fan, you probably think stands and you're like, ooh, cringe. But really what a super fan is, is just somebody who connects with you on an emotional level and then takes actions to support you. But if you're not saying things in beautiful, unique, interesting ways, those people are gonna be like, I'm out of here. So let's see what cliches look like in action. As you listen to these well-known songs, Ask yourself if you get to know the narrator any better. In Foreigners Cold as Ice, they sing, you're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. You never take advice. Someday you'll pay the price, I know. While the music is hugely catchy and it's a great song, you don't really connect with the author at all. They say, someday you'll pay the price. What the heck does that mean? You're as cold as ice. Great, there's a thousand people as cold as ice. What makes this person, this situation, what makes you as a songwriter unique? You don't stand out, you don't connect with people if you're not being uniquely you. We have Brian Adams' Cut Like a Knife. I took it all for granted, cliche number one. But how was I to know that you'd be letting go? Now it cuts like a knife, but it feels so right. Yeah, it cuts like a knife, but it feels so right. Took it all for granted. You know what he really took for granted? Was writing the lyrics. It's catchy, sure. And it's gonna create some listeners because people like to listen to catchy music, but it's not gonna create super fans. Nobody's gonna say, oh, Brian Adams spoke to me. There's also this Gawker article that has all 226 cliches off of Katy Perry's Prism album. Allow me to give you a sample. I'm walking on air, living the life, raining down, uh, just be free, come just as you are, open up your heart, walk through the storm. Just, just so many, I, I, I can't do this anymore. And the one big thing you might be able to say right now is like, well, actually, the kind of fans that really connect with Katy Perry's music, those are the kind of people I'm going for. In which case, knock yourself out. You can go play the musical lottery where you and a million other people are trying to write super cliche filled lyrics to try to connect with a broad audience that doesn't think about the things that they're singing along with. And you can let me know how that goes. But if you're serious about getting serious, it's time to cut the cliches. And honestly, I will admit, not all cliches are bad. A cliche here and there can be a nice way to kind of grease the wheels and help things go a little bit smoothly if you can't think of anything else to say. But unfortunately, about 90% of the times that people use a cliche, it is more just a giving up on the attempt to say something actually real or interesting. And it just kills the power of your song. It kills that potential relationship with someone based on what you're saying. So you've got to get rid of them, right? And how do you do that? Well, well, the bad news is that the best way to get rid of a cliche is, is to recognize it, to say, oh, that's a cliche, I should trade it out for something else. But if you don't know what all the cliches are, and you just kind of automatically put things down, sometimes it's hard to be self-aware enough to notice them. But thankfully, there is another way to recognize cliches. Basically, the problem with a cliche is that it's a code that means something different to everybody who listens to it. If I write a song and sing, we're going to go down in history, that means something to me, but it probably means something different to you. For instance, maybe for me, it means that I want to be remembered for how good I am at eating corn chips. Not a sponsorship, I just really like corn chips. But that's what I'm envisioning when I say those words. You might think of going down in history as being a famous musician. So basically, when people hear a cliche, everyone in the room thinks of it just a little bit differently. So if you're worried that you're using too many cliches, you need to just be more specific. Find phrases or sentences in what you're writing that sound kind of vague and could be interpreted in a couple of different ways and minimize the number of those that you have in your lyrics. Get rid of phrases that don't actually mean what you want them to mean. Like honestly, going down in history, what the heck does that even mean? And before we get into the process of how to actually fix all this stuff, I do wanna say guys that if you are a serious songwriter and you wanna do more than just get rid of the cliches, you wanna create fans, you wanna create lyrics that connect with people and that make people wanna hear what you have to say, lyrics that you can really be proud of, 
I've got a free resource in the description. It's my seven step lyric hero process. You can write good songs, good song lyrics in 30 minutes or fewer. It takes a little bit of practice to get there, but it is well worth it and it is completely free. There's a link in the description down to get it. You sign up, it's all yours, you're welcome. So here is the promised fix for how to make your lyrics better in just five minutes. Number one, put out your song lyrics and go through them and highlight anything that's a cliche or that sounds kind of vague, it could be a cliche. If you don't know how to recognize them yourself, you can ask a friend to help you. If you sign up for my Patreon, I and my other, you know, the other patrons can help you. And then ask yourself this question, what do I truly mean here? When I say these words, what am I thinking of? And then actually, I literally want you to get some scratch paper and write that answer down. And don't just do like a one word answer, a two word answer, like write a paragraph about what you mean there. And then for step three, take those that cliche take the paragraph you've written and find words inside of that paragraph or an idea inside of that paragraph and use that to replace the cliche. You might have to rewrite a line or two or even a stanza to make this work, but chances are also pretty good that there might be like a phrase in there that just perfectly subs in for that cliche. If you do that with every single one of your cliches, your lyrics are like automatically going to get about 10 times better, I promise. People are going to listen to it and they're gonna say, oh, that's interesting. And the reason for that is because every time you say something very specific or very unique or very personal, Personal, there's like this this mental hook we've heard of like pop hooks and melody hooks where you know we do something catchy in the music and then people are like I want to keep listening the thing is that the same thing happens with lyrics when we say something interesting or something that makes people have a question mark above their head they want to keep listening and hear exactly what you mean there and one of the best most sincere long-lasting ways to do that is to say something that is personal and real that makes sense that follows along with the rest of the song and helps people to understand where you're coming from. It's like a relationship building hook. So remember, not all cliches are evil, but most of them are. And that the, the big goal here for you as a songwriter should be to write songs that are true expressions of yourself. Because the people who can relate will relate a ton. And instead of just creating a couple of people who are just listeners, you're gonna have some actual super fans. If you wanna keep writing, make those lyrics super strong, check out that seven step lyric hero process down below. It will show you the way to write really strong lyrics. I recommend it, it's completely free. Of course I recommend it, I made it. What am I talking about? But I hope that you enjoy it. When you're done with that, check out the How to Write Better Lyrics playlist, tons of videos that I've made that will teach you how to write better lyrics. And then my video about how to write a good song every time. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll talk to you next time.